In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple animations to one element here in Google Slides. So you can add as many animations into just one element here in Google Slides, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I have an example right here. I'm just going to go ahead and right click on it and select animate. And on the right side, you will see our motion panel. And here are all the animations that I've added to this one element. If I click on this element right here, you'll see that all the animations are highlighted because they are applied into just one element. And if we click on play to have a preview of what these animations look like together, let's go ahead and play that. I'm just going to click on the screen because we have on click. There you have it. We have our spinning earth image flying in from the left to the right. So let me show you how to do this. So first, of course, you're going to have to insert the image or the element that you want to animate. In this example, this would be the image of the earth right here. And what you're going to do would be to open your motion panel. You can open that by just right clicking on the element that you want to animate and select animate right here. And you'll see right away it has added a pre-selected animation, which would be appear. Another way to open your animations would be again to click on that element, then go to more here on the toolbar and select animate. And there you have it. Again, it's added the pre-selected appear animation on my element, which I'm going to delete. So I'm going to start by selecting that element right there, then clicking on add animation right here. So the pre-selected animation is appear, but if you click on this arrow down or this drop down, you have these options. Now what I want to do would be to repeat what I did with my example, which is have this fly in from the left. So we can just select that right here. Although there are so many options that you can choose from, you can always experiment and see what they would look like. But for this one, I'm just going to select fly in from left. There we have it. We also have our starting condition, which is on click. I'm good with that. And for the duration or the speed of your animation, this would be adjustable. So of course, you can have it come in within 1.5 seconds, 2 seconds, that's totally up to you. I'm going to have it at 3 seconds right here. There you go. Now, if you want a preview of what that would look like, you can always just click on the play button right here. If we click on that, here we go. So I'm going to have to click on this because the start condition would be on click. And there you have it. So it's quite long because I adjusted the speed or the duration into three seconds. Again, that's totally up to you on what you want to do. So to continue adding more animations, we're going to click on stop right here. Otherwise, we won't be able to do anything else. So if you want to add more animations, what you're going to do would be to just click on it again and select add animation right here. Again, pre-selected appear would be right there. And what I want to do would be to have it spin. So I'm going to select that spin animation, go to the drop down again and select spin at the bottom right here. Click on it. Then again, adjust your start condition. I want this to happen after having it fly in from the left. So your start condition would be on click after previous or with previous. So we're going to select after previous. We want this to happen after the first one would be done. So I'm going to click on that. There you go. And adjust the duration again to three seconds, which is again, totally up to you. You can always adjust it to your liking. And again, if we want to have a preview, we can always click on play, click on the screen. Fly in from the left. Then we have it spinning for three seconds. And there you have it. And the last one would be, I want to have it fly out from the right. So again, I'm just going to click on add animation right here. There you go. Select the animation type, have it fly out to the right. Okay. Play again. Let's see what that would look like. Click on the screen. There we have our earth spinning while exiting our screen to the right. Okay, now we can fix that to make it more like what we did in our example. So I'm going to stop right here. And what I'm going to do would be to 
change the start duration of our third animation to after previous. There we have it. Now, if we play that, this is what it's going to look like. Flying from the left, spin for three seconds, and then fly out to the right. So what we want to do is to add the spinning effect as it comes in and goes out. So we can totally do that by adding the spin effect. And this time we're going to have it with previous as the start condition. So we're going to start by adding that spin effect. Click on that element, add animation. So again, I'm going to select spin. There we go. And I'm going to select with previous. Adjust the duration to 3 seconds. There we go. I'm going to click on this arrow down to hide it. And what I'm going to do would be to move this right here. So what I did would be to click on this one until your cursor changes into this type of cursor. And then just drag up this animation that we just created. And we're going to do the same thing with the last one. So I'm going to click on that, add animation. Let's change that into spin again. Start duration would be with previous and adjust this to three seconds. There we have it. Now everything is in position. We have the first one flying from left on click. So we have to click for it to start. Next one would be have that spin effect together with the flying from left. Then your spin in the middle and your fly out to the right with a spin. So all together, this is what it's going to look like. Let's have a preview. Click on play, click on the screen, and there you have it. You had it spinning when it came in from the left and spinning again when it went out to the right. And there you have it. That was multiple animations applied to just one element here in Google Slides. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and I will see you in the next one.